Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and today I'll be talking you through the steps on how to fix your wireless CarPlay dongle if it has a hardware Wi-Fi error from a recent update you might have applied to it. So keep watching for all my steps on how to fix it. So you've updated your wireless dongle with what you thought to be an innocent firmware update and on the reboot, you see the dreaded hardware error Wi-Fi on your CarPlay display. Now don't panic, this is totally fixable. And in this video, I will go through each step to fix it. You will need the broken dongle itself. This is the one that you see me break in a recent video. This fix should work on most dongles, including the CarPlay to air and the CarLinkit dongles. First, you'll need the broken dongle. This is the dongle that broke in a recent video that you might have watched. You will need a USB-A stick and a USB charging adapter like the one that came with your iPhone or if you've got something like this spare that you can plug the dongle into. And then finally, you need a desktop or laptop to format the USB stick and also to transfer some files that we'll be downloading onto it. All right, with all that gathered, we can get started on the process of fixing your dongle. So first you must remove the dongle from your car, then on your desktop or laptop, go to a specific page where you can download the rollback software. I'll add these in the description below. From this page, you can simply click on the download link to download the .img file for your specific dongle. From the links below, you will find that there are two different types of files that you should download. And to know which file that you need to download will correlate to the color of the boot menu that you see when you first boot into the dongle itself. If it has a green UI, get the U2W underscore update file. And if your dongle has a red UI, get the auto kit update file. There is a download button alongside each of these or view raw link on this page and that you can select these to start the download. With the file downloaded, head on over to your browser's download folder and locate the .img file. From here, you need to rename that file to either u2w underscore update .img for the green UI dongles or u2w underscore autokit underscore update .img for the red UI dongles. Again, I'll put all these names in the description below. Next, grab a USB drive. I'm using my trusty SanDisk 16 gig drive here, which also has an access light so I can keep tabs on if it's actually working or not. And then insert the USB drive into a computer. We now need to format it using any drive cleaner software such as Disk Utility on the Mac, or just simply right click the drive and format from the menu on Windows, and then format this drive to FAT32 to clean it. With the drive now clean and formatted, we now need to copy the .img file to the empty USB drive. Don't put it into any folder and make sure that the .img extension is at the end of the file name. Once the file is copied over, safely remove your USB drive from your computer and then insert the flash drive into the USB-A pass-through port at the end of the dongle. Then plug the dongle in with the USB drive connected into a powered USB charging adapter. Do not use a computer USB port or your car's USB port. You should then see the dongle power up and begin to show a red, followed by both the blue and red indicators flashing intermittently red and blue. If your USB dongle also has an access status light, you should see that flashing now too. This means that the USB drive is now being copied to the dongle and the firmware is being applied. At this point, you need to wait around two to three minutes for the firmware to apply and for the dongle to reboot. The blue and red LED lights should stop flashing and a solid red light should appear, meaning that you're all done. If this doesn't happen for a long while, simply remove the dongle from the wall charger, then remove the USB drive from the dongle then first insert the dongle into the wall charger, then wait roughly about 10 seconds for the dongle to boot up before inserting the USB drive through the pass-through port of the dongle itself. And then everything should start working again. Once the dongle has a solid red light, that means everything has now finished and you can safely remove the dongle from the wall adapter. Next, remove the USB drive from the dongle 
and then that's pretty much it. So return to your car and plug your dongle back into the USB port of your car. Wait until your boot menu appears on your vehicle's CarPlay screen. Then simply pair your iPhone to the Bluetooth network of your dongle that's shown on screen if you haven't done this already. Then in less than around 60 seconds, you should be back into CarPlay. From here, you can then either stick with this firmware if, if, if everything is working for you, or you could try and attempt to update it over the air again to get any new features that any of the more recent updates bring. All right, I hope you found this guide helpful. If it has, please leave me a like down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll try best to answer them. You can check out all my other CarPlay guides in this playlist here. Hit the subscribe button down below to catch all my future content and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.